Hello everyone, my name is Mohit. In this video, we will see the role migration from older version to near version. So in this video, we will see the Windows DSP server role migration from 2008 to 2016. So it's 16, not 12. 16. So we have two methods, basically two methods by using the net sh import or export. I can write here import export. and backup and restore so we will see net sh command by using the net sh command so now let's see the this is the windows server 2008 older version i can say this is the older version you can see the graphic this is the older version graphic so dscp server is running fine and he this is the client machine Windows XP, Windows XP is getting the IP from this my machine Jarvis. Okay, so Jarvis name is Jarvis is the name of my DSCP server. This is in Jarvis and this this IP and all the configuration uh, this Windows XP is getting from server 2008. So now let's see how we can migrate the DSCP server role to the newer version. So first of all, go to the command prompt, uh, increase some fonts, font size, font size is already okay, that's okay, not an issue, net sh. NetSH, then type the server, oh sorry, DSCP, DSCP, DHCP, done. Then this local server, so now this is a local server. Okay, you can type help here to check the command. So command is uh, export command. So export file name, any file name you can use. So I'm using C drive. And I will save all the backup of a DSP server here. All the backup, so I'm using all configuration here. Means store uh, all the DSP configuration in this file. So the backup DSP, so its name should be meaningful. DSCP, backup DSCP. Okay, press enter. Done, successfully completed. Now let's check the C drive. Here you can see backup DSCP. I think that's file, my file name. Oh, yes, so recent file. So copy this file. So copy this file from here to here. Okay, so this is my file. So you can stop this server if you want to. So stop, if you can stop this server. So I'm stopping this server. This is not needed right now because we have already done the backup thing. So I'm stopping this one. Or you can stop the service, but uh, I don't want to put much load on my computer system, my this host machine. So I'm suspending this one. I'm not using. Okay. So let's start this server machine, another newer version, 2016. Power on. So I hope you know how to install the server machine. Okay, first task to set the IP address. So I'm setting the IP address here. Now go to the network settings. 
this is actually newer so change your adapter settings yes so go to here properties give the static ip here no it's not tcp oh yes this one ip version 192 168 uh let me check the okay it's give let's give uh 10 i'm just checking the range from here it's 10 or 20 let's check it's 20. okay just i'm confirming the ip address so 2010 subnet mask done default gateway i'm just giving any gateway 20.2 done save so let's check the ip by using the cmd command prompt ip config i can see ip is okay the ip that i have given it's working fine that's great so next task to install the dsp server so go to the server server manager server manager uh, the tools here this is tools little bit change uh, Tool dsp service uh, let me check where the dsp service okay in the tools i'm not getting the dsp server okay go to the dashboard okay yes you can see here add role and feature go to the add role and feature yeah similar set role base okay next server selection that's okay okay now here i'm getting the dsp server add features that's okay next 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 install now if you check the i meanwhile if you check the ip here and if you release the ip of this windows server windows uh, sorry windows xp machine release released okay no there is no ip right now if i try to renew because as there is no dsp server let's check can we do that no it is not getting ip you can see here i can can see there is no ip still zero zero okay so because there is no dsp servers server it will take some time to install I hope it's a configuration required installation succeed on Windows. I think that's okay. Done. I think it's completed. Close. Activated. Program performance counter not started. Feature installation, confusion required installation succeed. So configuration is required. So feature installed, feature installed, that's okay, that's great. So now it's time for to open the command prompt, CMD, 
and put that file, that backup file, in the C drive, in the back of this backup file, backup DSCP. I think this is the file backup DSCP. Let me check its state. Detail. Yes, so this current time. Copy. Copy this one and put in the C drive. So go to the C drive. DIR. I can see backup file is here and here again NetSH uh, DSCP server. So now this time import. File name is back. DSCP. Done. Let's check. Let's wait for a few minutes or a few seconds. Oh, command successfully. Uh, command completed successfully. That's great. Done. So close this one and go to the server manager again. So DSCP server is there, you can see, click on this one, activated. Refresh. DSP manager yes so go to the DSP manager and check scopes okay so scope address pool sorry address pool now you can see this is the same configuration we have already done we had only done uh, on the Windows 2008 now the same configuration exclude range and the distribution and the router address everything is same here Reservation, there was no reservation scope one. Yes, so perfectly you can see the name, name, the name, domain name is Jarvis. Perfectly fine, perfectly fine, working fine. Okay. Now run the service. DCP start performance counter. I think service is on. So now let's check. IP config release if any IP is there renew I can see perfectly fine so migrate the DSP service server role migrated successfully now this XP window is getting the domain name uh, the IP the default gateway successfully now in this way you can migrate the role from one com one older version to newer version i hope you have learned something significant from this video bye bye thank you thank you for watching this video bye bye